Good morning, friends, and welcome to Faith in 50 Seconds. Our prophecy from Jeremiah today doesn't look too terribly different from yesterday's, but it does give us some insight into God. Let's read Jeremiah 48, 29 through 32. We have heard of Moab's pride, arrogant, puffed up, exalted, high and mighty, boastful. I myself know about its arrogance, declares the Lord. The idle talk, the empty deeds, but still I'll wail for Moab. I'll cry out for all of Moab. I'll sob for its people. I'll weep for you. Though your branches extended to the sea and reached the coast, now the destroyer has come to harvest your grapes and summer fruits. Joy and gladness have been taken out from the orchards and farms of Moab. I have stopped making wine in the presses. No one shouts with joy while treading grapes. Though there are shouts, they are not shouts of joy. God has told Jeremiah that Moab will be destroyed, that God will destroy the country God's self. And although this chapter is filled with a ton of gloom and doom, we also see God say that God will weep and cry out for all of Moab. Even, even in their destruction, God cries on their behalf. God hurts alongside this nation. When I visit people in the hospital or after a death, I always try to invoke the image of God sitting alongside them, feeling all of the emotions they feel. God truly does come alongside us, like the passage in Romans says of the Holy Spirit, with sighs too deep for words. May we all feel God's presence today.